All right, here's a cool arpeggio lick in the key of C. Uh, this has a dominant sound, which means a major third of a scale coupled with a minor seventh of that same scale. Um, this one's going to go across all the strings, so pay attention that I start on the high E string and go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to play this example for you twice, and it's in the key of C. Here we go. Two, three, four. I'm going to break this down into three different sections, and each one of those sections will have 12 notes. And you'll notice that the last three notes of those 12 notes for each section will start the next section that comes after it. I'll explain that more in a second. Uh, we start on the 15th fret of the high E string and do a pull off to the 11th, I'm sorry, to the 13th and then the 12th. So 15, 13, 12. Then we're going to catch the C note on the 13th fret of the B string. And then ascend back up those three notes we just came down on the high E string and come back down them again with, with hammer-ons, I mean pull-offs. Then we're going to do a pull-off on the B string from the 13th to the 11th and catch the 12th fret in the G string. Back, up, Now, the last three notes that I just played are going to start the next section. So we've got a pull-off from the 13th to the 11th here on the B string. Catch the G note. With our first finger, we're going to catch the 10th fret of the G string and slide it down to the 9th. And then hammer back onto the 10th. So watch this little move here. Then we're going to do pull-offs again on the G string from 12 to 10 to 9. A position jump, so our hand's going to move down one fret, and then we've got pull-offs on the 10th to the 8th of the D string, and then catch the 10th of the A string. So that whole section is... Now, in keeping with what we did before, the last three notes that we just did are going to be the first three notes of the next section, which will start. We're going to do the same thing with our first finger on the A string that we did a second ago where we slide and then hammer, then a pull off, and then on the low string we're going to go 10, 8, and 6 with a pull off, and then our final note is going to be the C note, which is the key we're in, on the 8th fret of the low string. So that last section 12 notes, and then our final note, which is the C. Now, my rule on this seems to be that I'm going to pull off and hammer on whenever I can, and I tend to pick the first note of each string that I go to when I switch to a new string. Uh, if you want to pick every note, that's fine. It's going to just sound a little bit more aggressive than the smooth legato thing that we've got going here. Let me play this lick twice in a row for you now at a slower tempo with our backing track, and you can hear what it sounds like. Two, three, four. <laughs> 